Hi guys, it's Mr. Pollock Biology back with another quick video about cholera. This time we're looking at oral rehydration therapy, which is used to treat the symptoms of cholera. So, the objectives for this video, you're going to understand how an infection with cholera is treated with oral rehydration therapy, and you're going to explain the importance of each component of an oral rehydration solution. So what is oral rehydration therapy? Well, basically it replaces fluids and salts that have been lost in diarrhea. It restores the water balance to cells, but crucially it does not actually kill Vibrio cholerae. You'd need antibiotics to do that. But it prolongs life, um, which is really, really key. Um, so what's in an oral rehydration solution? Well, we've got water, which is kind of obvious. We've got chloride ions, we've got sodium ions, we've got potassium ions, and we've got glucose. So water, this is for hydration, and it's got to be boiled to kill Vibrio cholerae, and it replaces the water that's been lost in diarrhea. The chloride ions replace the chloride ions loss due to the action of the cholera toxin. The sodium ions are to make use of the sodium glucose co-transport channel in the small intestines. And the potassium is there to stimulate appetite, and the glucose is there to provide energy for respiration. And the great thing about oral rehydration therapy and oral rehydration solutions is they are really, really simple uh, to make, they are cheap, and they are easy to administer. And that's pretty much everything. So, to summarise, uh, ORTs can be used to replace fluids that have been lost. They contain ions for water balance, water for rehydration, and sugars to provide energy. They are cheap, and they are easy to administer. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe.